Good morning and happy Monday, First Friends Boys and Girls. Penny and Clifford here to begin a brand new week of stories for you all. Hope all of you had a great weekend. We had a great weekend, didn't we, Clifford? Yes, we did. So, let's get started. Okay, here's another one of my favorites. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Mermaid Adventures. Let's see what this is about, boys and girls. Anything with Peppa Pig is fun. Peppa and Rebecca love to play mermaids. Sometimes I wish I were a mermaid, said Rebecca. I'd love to have a shiny tail and swim underwater every day, Peppa replies. That gives Rebecca an idea. Let's have an under the sea party, she says. Oh, that's awesome. There's Peppa and her friend Rebecca, and they love playing mermaids. And they decide, let's have an under the sea party. Peppa and Rebecca make some under the sea party invitations. They use lots and lots of glitter, of course. Very shiny, said Daddy Pig. Just like mermaids' tails, replies Peppa. Then Peppa and Susie hand out the invitations. The party is tomorrow, Peppa says. Please come. Oh, how fun. Ooh, invitations have lots of glitter. And their party is tomorrow. That night, Peppa is very excited. Remember, Peppa, the party is in two days, Mummy Pig reminds her. But I told everyone the party is tomorrow, says Peppa. Oh, no, said Mummy Pig. We forgot to put the date on the invitation. <laughs> That's important to put the date on an invitation, isn't it, boys and girls? Oh, no. Mummy Pig makes a phone call. Then there is a knock at the door. It's Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit, emergency party planner and entertainer extraordinaire, says Miss Rabbit. I hear you are in need of an under the sea party. Yes, said Daddy Pig, for tomorrow. No problem, replies Miss Rabbit. You go to bed, I've got this. Oh, how awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. In the morning, Peppa and her family wake up and go downstairs. Their house has been transformed into an underwater wonderland. Look, George gasped Peppa, there's a beach and shells. Wow, look boys and girls, that's awesome. Oh, that's gonna be a fun party, isn't it boys and girls? Peppa finds some costumes. Oh, she squeals in delight. This mermaid, mermaid costume has the shiniest tail I have ever seen. The fridge is full of tasty food. There are crab-shaped treats and starfish-shaped sandwiches. How fun. Awesome, see your costume? And look at all the treats in the refrigerator. Soon, the guests arrive. They are all dressed in underwater costumes. Hello, says Peppa. I'm Peppa the mermaid, and this is George the crab. Welcome to our under the sea home. Oh, look at all their friends coming, boys and girls. Look at all their costumes. And there's Peppa and brother George. Fun. How fun. Once everyone is inside, it is time for the underwater adventure to begin. First, Miss Rabbit asks the children to wiggle their toes in the sand. Ooh, says Peppa, it feels all tickly. <clears throat> oh my goodness. That's so fun. Next, Miss Rabbit hands out seashells. Put the shells to your ears and tell me what you can hear, she says. 
the sea, shouted the children. Then Miss Rabbit gives them some smelly toy fish. Take a good sniff. What can you smell? She asks. Ew, shouts the children. These smelly fishy, these smell fishy. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you know you can hear an ocean in the seashell when you put it up to your ear? It's really neat. When they are done, Miss Rabbit touches the teachers the children how to swans. It's swimming and dancing at the same time, Miss Rabbit says. I guess that word would be swants, to swim and to dance, swants. She waves her arms. The children do the same thing. Yay, the children love to swants. Oh, boys and girls, how fun. I love that new word, swants. Swimming and dancing at the same time. Peppa is having so much fun. She imagines that she and Rebecca are under the sea. There's all sorts of things like a seahorse, a stingray, and fish. <clears throat> Yay, they're pretending they're under the sea and they're seeing all the sea animals. Being a mermaid is amazing, Daddy cries Peppa. Can we have another under the sea party next week? Next week, Daddy Pig replies. Maybe he'll need to call Miss Rabbit party cleanup extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, that was a great story. I love Peppa Pig and Brother George and all of their fun adventures. <laughs> that was a great book. Ah, hopefully, maybe some of you will get to go swimming today. And maybe you can do some swancing in the water, some swimming and some dancing. So that would be a lot of fun. It'd be cool you off, too, because it's so hot outside. Well, boys and girls, have a great day. Clifford and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And stay cool. Give your parents a big hug and kiss and tell them that you love them. Please know that Miss Penny loves all of you so very much and we're only... A half a month away for school, for school to start in August for first friends. So excited. Okay, boys and girls, we'll see you tomorrow. So for now, we say bye-bye.